2-1 victory for your side here at your old stomping ground in Sligo. Uh, sum up your thoughts after those 90 minutes. Well, again, good game time for for, for players. Um, it was a, a decent test, to be honest, because it was um, they tried to keep the ball all over, very similar to, to maybe how, how Inverness would go. So for me, it was relevant to, to what, we were, what we were trying to get at. Um, I think we should have scored more, definitely. We, uh, we had a chance when we pressed, we pressed high and we won it in good areas. So we were looking for the end product, final cross, final ball in the box, final uh, finish. But um, only got the two, which uh, was, was something we, we need, obviously need to go and work on. But again, um, linking up play, people who, uh, who haven't had as much game time as well, getting good game time, um, and again, come out with no injuries. Is the the main pause of the amount of chances you created? I think when we'll look at our Twitter feed, and it's like a, you know, almost every two or three minutes we're putting something down there. Mm. The negative being that you only converted two. Yeah, and that, that's that's something obviously in, in games you you hope when you're going into the, the league campaign you uh, you're ruthless in front of goal. You uh, those chances that you do create, you, you you hit the back of the net. I've got strikers in there that are frustrated, but it'll come. You know, it is still early days, and and you tend to snatch at things and. You try and get it in, in the perfect position where um, other times you know, it'll just come natural to you. Um, hit the target and, uh, and, and more often than not you'll, uh, you'll end up with something. How tricky is it to come up against a side who are you know, almost two thirds of the way through, not even a half, but two thirds of the way through the season? Yeah, you, you forget that, that, that you know, they are. They're, they're well into the season. They're, they're fit boys. They wanted to, to go and impress, I would think. So that's difficult to come up against that. And it was, um, but it was a, you know, a great surface for us to go and play. Um, great setting, nice evening, um, and and for me, we got uh, a lot of good work out of it. Another big positive will be the the the, the lack of chances you restricted them to. Of, you know, with a, a trialless goalkeeper and who who, who well, was a spectator for most of the game, and a lot of that is down to the the, the back four and the, the centre backs in particular. Yeah, we were again. It's something you work on. You your defensive shape. You know, you've got to be organised. You. you you want to restrict the, the opposition to, to, to minimal amounts, and we did. Um, but I was looking for how we how we broke from that position as well. It's important we've you know we've developed into a, a good counter-attacking team. So if you draw them on, draw them on. You've then got to be ruthless. Uh, and we weren't just quite ruthless, ruthless enough in front of goal. And uh, although we created good chances, a lot of good chances. But um, say that that will come. Um, no need to panic on that and, and say. The addition uh, of, of, of the new players, I think, has been been a positive one, and um, you know that will that will get better. One of the players who did take your chance was Wes Fletcher. You and I talked after after the game uh, when he scored abroad, and, and, and you thought it was positive that he got off the mark early. He's now got two, and and, and really looked an asset. You know, works really hard, and, and you know he'll be he'll be pleased with how it's going for him so far. Yeah, he he um he, he's. Getting into the mode of the way we want him to play, he's got real good assets. He'll go into the channels, he'll work defenders in behind, he'll come short and can go and link. Um, he's a goal scorer, he's a threat, uh, and that will get better. Let's not forget, he, um, he didn't play the last uh, month or so of the season because he'd picked up an injury. Um, so he hadn't really played since, since March, April. So that's you know, it's his third, third game, third part of a game, if you like, in, in, in four months. So it's um, you know he'll get better, and you know the likes of, of Louis Malt uh, is frustrated, but he, he'll he'll create chances or have you know he'll be in positions where he'll uh, he'll put put chances away and and Clarkie coming off and in, into little pockets and he's a clever player and he'll go and link um, he'll do well and and you know add to that Scott McDonald that's come come in as well um, we know what he's he's going to bring to the party and he just needs to to get some good game time and good training. Uh, under his belt because he's uh, it's difficult because the last few weeks he's been he's been training on his own and um, you know he, he needs to 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 work hard with the uh, with the squad now. Penultimate game is now over. You've won it. With one game left. Pressed and assess how things are going in pre-season so far and 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 where we are placed at this moment in time. Well, for me, and I always say I don't you know whether we win or lose in pre-season. It uh, for me, I'm just looking purely for for. The, um, the, the fitness side of things, the um, the application of the boys, that's been top class. Uh, the cohesion amongst the group, and obviously the integration of the new new players, that's what pre-season is about. And um, I've been really, really pleased where, where we've gone from, from week one. We're now in week four. Uh, we've got 10 or 11 days now before the, the start of the season. 
and uh, and we'll get in there. And and I'm you know I'm, I'm delighted the way the the group have gone and gone and worked together. Finally, it would be remiss of me not to mention it, but you know a, a fantastic reception from the people here in Sligo. I'm sure that meant a lot to you because you spent three good years here and had a lot of success here. But certainly, the fans showed their appreciation both at the start and at the end of the game for you. Yeah, they did. No, it's nice. It's a it's a, a fantastic club, um, very similar to ourselves in in that it's a real community club. The, the community come out and support the the team. That's that's what uh, Sligo's known for three things: W. B. Yates, the poet, Westlife. And Slago Rovers, so um, that was uh, that was drummed into me from a, an early early stage, and it's a it's a fantastic club. They're not in uh, great health at the moment, league wise, league position wise. So, um, but they've got some good young players coming through. Um, great facilities that have been built upon in the last few years, from uh, getting into the Champions League and, and the successes. Uh, and, and obviously, wish them all all the best. And it was nice to like, to, to come back and. Um, and, and see some friendly faces, you know. Thanks, Ian. Thank you.